If you couldn't tell already from my accent, I come from the great nation of Australia. So it's no surprise that one of my favourite episodes of The Simpsons is when they travel to Australia. There's one clip in that episode that I want to look at today. Take it away, Bart and Lisa. Come on, Shampoo, you can do it! Yay, I won your stupid bathroom products race! No fair. You only won because you had the inside track. If the water was spinning the other way... It never spins the other way. In the Northern Hemisphere, water always drains counterclockwise. It's called the Coriolis Effect. That's right. Today on Toon Science, we're looking at the Coriolis Effect. Have you ever wondered which way the water spins in your sink or toilet? Pause the video now and go and check, and let me know down in the comments. In Australia, which way should the fixtures drain, Tobias? The fixtures? You're all draining clockwise, sir. I put this to the test in the sinks and toilets in my house. Let's see the results. Hang on. That's not doing what it did in the cartoon. So where does this leave the Coriolis effect? In order to see the Coriolis effect, we need to zoom out. Let's take a look at the Earth as it spins. Every point has to spin once every 24 hours. But points near the equator have to move further than points near the North or South Poles. So they also have to spin faster. So if we look at something big like a hurricane, which we call a cyclone down under, the parts closer to the equator will move faster than the parts further away. And that's what makes them spin. So in the southern hemisphere, they turn clockwise. And in the northern hemisphere, they turn counterclockwise. The thing is, the Coriolis effect only really works over big distances. That's because there needs to be a big enough difference in how fast the points of the Earth are rotating in order to see the effect. It is technically possible to get this to work in a swimming pool. And I'll leave a link down below to an awesome demo of this. So in our sinks and toilets, the Coriolis effect is incredibly minor. The thing that's going to affect which way the water drains the most is whether you introduce a rotation clockwise or anti-clockwise to the water as you fill it up. You can actually change which way the water drains in your sinks and toilets. Sweet land of liberty. So how well did The Simpsons do at explaining the Coriolis effect? Well, I'm giving this clip three thumbs up out of ten. It is technically correct what they said about the Coriolis effect, and they got the directions of the spin right, but it's really sketchy the way they applied it to our sinks and toilets. So which way does the water spin in your sinks and toilets? Got any other clips you want to be analysed by Toon Science? Let me know down in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!